Hello, hello, and welcome to Basley's Comic Crazy. This is Steve Dolman here, and I just took Mono Wind to an undefeated finish at Locals and won a Legend Tidus, among some other cool stuff. And uh, it's time for grudge matches in the, the aftermath. Yeah, oh, that's not that... a grudge match. I'm just playing for fun. <laughs> it's all... <laughs> it's just, this one wasn't even playing. It's, it's, that's it's, my it's, it's a I just cut my own you deck. What's going on deck. there? I forgot where I'm cutting. Would you like to do high roll or something with these Go incredibly high roll. confusing dice? They're nice and colourful. They are. Okay. I feel like I cheated. Okay. <laughs> No, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll, I'll do it slightly better. There we We're go. We're going Yancy rules. You oh, get to roll again as well. I get to roll again. Yeah, that was a twelve and an eleven, and that's a ten. If you okay. roll a nine, you just go first because it's it's a descending pattern. Nah. Heck, you concerned? Cool. You wanna go first? Or I I think I will go first. I think I'll go first. Not how dice rolls work, but hey. Monowind, I feel, got absolutely tons from Yuri. Monowind, to me, lacked direction before, and certainly there were things like you stole a ping that you could do, yeah. or sort of untap shenanigans, but it never felt like enough of a win condition until now, and I, I finally think that we've got something that is credible. The only thing I've touched in Monowind is chocobos, because Choc I just absolutely well, yeah. chocobos. <laughs> chocobos are awesome, yes. It's, it's, uh, I kind of like that flair on standard units as well. Well, I don't even touch that. I just go straight for the mono wind. Every card can be a bird if you can get it. I love it. Every card has to have wings. You love Zoo then. Even Aerith. Aerith has wings. She does now. Yeah. Oh. R.I.P. Aerith. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep this and draw I turn. Lead. I have no choice. None choice. Okay, this is a tricky hand actually. There's a few ways I could do this, but I think the best way is Yustola and Aleria on Moogle and Archer. And I'll pass there. Draw two. Ooh. I found that a, a problem for Mono Wind, even this opus, was I was trying to fit too many two cost backups in because I hated all of the three cost backups. Mm -hmm. they, they just feel like they search for oddly specific things, or like Aerith can only really be your fourth backup uh, yeah, or, you or later. Play it so it, it felt really hard to curve out with a two cost on turn one and a three cost the next yeah. turn. So I've kind of gone back to Evoker basics to just see if it kind of rounds things out. I mean, if it gives you the play, that's fine. I'm going to sack a Goltana and let's, uh, let's go Zalbag. Or Goltana. We'll search a knight. This is my FFT build. Every single card in this deck is an FFT card. Because I had to. Does that count FFTA, FFTA2? No, nope, in just FFT. <laughs> Strict FFT. I am a purist on this one here. Well, it's, it's title format, right? Yeah, but essentially this would be a title deck. But I've been playing this deck since Opus 2 and just editing it as it goes. <laughs> I'm really actually quite keen to try out some title. Uh, I love it. It's how I build things. I've got I, I was very much expecting well. the Winter Cup Cardiff this year to have a title side event. Mm -hmm. And instead they're doing Highlander. Singletons only. Oh, right. So I'm, I'm kind of interested to give that a bit of a prep to. I'm going to pass with that. It's a game that's quite rewarding to... Oh, there's a lot of cards. Like Cyber and set 7. There's a lot of things you can play in a, a title sort of format. Like Before it was really difficult. Like 2 recently became very interesting to me as well. 2, two is very good. Zoo, yeah. Zoo is also very good. Like a bird, I love all the special cards. The art is fantastic. The art is phenomenal, yeah. There's not a bad foil among them. Mm, that's true. I, I'm just going to pass there. There's a few different ways I could have done that, but I think that from the hand I've got, there are more opportune things I could be doing for now. Okay, let's uh, change the play. Let's sack Agrius for Aurelia, so I can get my plus ones. Well, yeah, there's so many knights as well yeah, in the deck. Lots of choice. Seeing Agrius as well. Uh, let's sack Dark Knight and tap one, and we'll play Delita. Who gains a plus one for Agus? For being a knight, yeah, wow. And we will pass. Forget that he has a job. Yes, uh, being a murderous monster of a man. Almost swore there, don't know if you've swear. <laughs> Had to stop myself. Depends if Michael's around. <laughs> um, I think there are better ways to be curving this out, but I'm going to go Chilinka and two for Yuri. Okay. And then, just because I don't want to fall behind on board too much, I'm going to crack Zoo to get these back. Mm -hmm. And then probably also go into a white mage. And just because I've got the, the fear of some cards, let's see. Take what you wish. I think Dark Knight has got more ways that it could be revived, but I don't actually know. I can't remember off the top of my head if any of those are in FFT. That's the thing I like about the title, the fact you have to remember every card in a <laughs> yeah, set. That there's a, a lot of obscure... Set. Yeah, it's like, I, I don't think I could have told you identically before what each of the Agrius is yes. did, but... But after playing you, I do. But there's three of them now, so... So there are! What, what do you make of anyone? I haven't, I've only just played this deck, I've not had a chance to play it yet. So if I play it, we'll find Hopefully out. we'll see it, yeah. I love I, the concept. It's one of these costly cards that gives you an absolute ton of value, and it almost feels better the earlier you play it, because mm. it's less likely to hit random things like cards you've already got on field that therefore will stay in deck because of the effect. It's just silly and I love it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to pass there. Okay. Reactivation. Move on to you. 
so we've got what can we do let's tap two and we'll play ramza i love this card because it's the same art it's, it's kind of the same as steiner beatrix or opus four as well I in fact they were opus four as well yeah they were and i think they must have had like, a run of stuff that was very similar maybe there's other ones we don't know it's like i feel like the other ramza and opus two agrius and stuff should be part of the same image but i can't tell if they uh, are they are from the same cutscene the same cutscene the ah yeah because yeah. three of them yeah. i'm gonna pass with that I could whack political, but that game yeah. is my favourite. So, I didn't play Final yeah, Fantasy games as a kid, but that was one I got as a Christmas present once, and it was the one game I played, not realising for such a long time it actually was like a Final Fantasy game. Ah, okay. I loved it. Hmm. Uh, BC, and the fact that my boy Ramza is getting support every time is just. Your, your boy Ramza. Someone has to back him. I think we'll do an evoker and three for Bart's and okay. on top all win characters. Nice. And then we'll go for an evoker. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to pass there as well. Okay. Let's draw two. Hmm. Curious. Let's tap two. And no, let's not tap two. That makes no sense. Let's tap, let's tap, let's tap one, two, one, and set. Uh... Oh, I don't know. I haven't played this deck in a while, so I was trying to remember one. <laughs> trying to, yeah, the, each each of the interactions are. Let's... There's a lot of searches that search for things there that is are not their own element. Um, the whole point is a tricolor deck as well. It needs to be able to search stuff, but it was kind of clogged, so it kind of under. No, I guess you can take a break. Nice dogs, my man. And then just before I forget, these guys also have the plus ones on the field. So they do, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Let's tap Ramza. Okay. And we're going to give Dice Dog haste because of Ramza. Okay. Uh, we'll then go to Declaration of Attack. So Before you, like you to go to combat, I'm going to doll down to and Yuri to freeze Dice Dark. Doll freeze Dice Dark. Doll freeze Dice Dark. Nice. Okie dokie. Uh, in that case, I will pass. Sounds good. I'm suspicious of the fact you've got so much in hand and Jodita gets buffed any time you target him. So I'm a little bit wary of Barks or do doing anything involving Barks. I'll Noogle Special. Mm -hmm. And find an Aerith. That's a dangerous card with that much backup. It's a very dangerous card. I'll tap three, play the Aerith, and un the untap everything but the Evoker. Like, there's, there's no point bringing back the Evoker just here. Anything. Exactly. Um, I think I'll dull down three backups to Dull Freeze Delita as well. Okay. That re um, that removes a lot of the doubt from my mind. So he is, he is a nine thousand now. So that's a little bit risky. He is you're right, but but I'm gonna I'm gonna place the risky bet that you don't have any activation stuff in hand. I'll go to combat mm -hmm. and attack on Barks for nine thousand. It's a delete. And I'm gonna chance Yuri on eight thousand as well. I think that he's bought me enough time with it's the dolls and the freezes. And I'm gonna pass there. Okay. Ramza comes back. The other two. The other two just play, plain old dull. Draw two. He doesn't want to miss a thing. Five. Come on. Why not? Oh in dear. for a penny, in for a pound. Let's hold and <laughs> Okay, uh, who, um, who are we losing? Yuri's causing me a ball broad, so let's go with Yuri. Yuri is going to cause a significant headache, yeah. And uh, normally I'll try and get into such a state that I can always keep an Aerith in hand to protect the first attempt on his life. But no, in this case, I can only hope that a couple of dulls and freezes has been enough. Cool, I am going to pass with that. That's getting quite tricky for me because if I attack with Barks, it makes me look open. I like the term look open. Look like open. Aha. <laughs> I, I, I'm very good at the aha with this deck. Wind is, wind is quite sneaky like that. I'll go to combat mm -hmm. and attack on 9000. Okay. In um, response to that, I'll choose Ramza as my blocker. I'll drop one and I'll golem for four. Golem for. Wow. That would be 10k, would it 10K, not? 10k, boy. Yeah, okay. That resolves. Mm -hmm. And then second main. 
I'll tap four backups for Vata, and okay. I'll tap four backups. Fair enough. And then I'll tap four backups again for Barbaricia to kill Ramza. Okay. Cool. And I'll pass that. Vata is very good. Would I have a way of saving Ramza by tapping him and giving himself a thousand, is not um, so let's choose one forward. His, his printed power would still set to be 1000. Oh, no, exactly. It's in play, and because he's right. already taken 9000 damage, you're yeah, yeah. Just he's, a curiosity. He's effectively only losing 4000 power there, but that would still be enough to, to kill him off. You, you would need an absolute ton more golems in hand. I'm just going to pass with that. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. See, every time I thought you put myself on camera, it's the third time it's happened. I just, just end oh, up flopping. You got the nerves. It doesn't happen. It's not the nerves. It's, it's not the, ner happens. the nerves, but yeah, I'd, I'd, uh, I had a horrible run of that happening at oh, what event was it now? It wasn't nationals. They kept me away from the camera. Afraid I'd break it. it happens in fighting games as well. I'll go in tournament and instantly I'll just flop out as soon as it gets put on stage or it gets put in front of people. But I'll, I'll wait more, work my way up straight away and then out. But boom. Got it. Simply because I need to rotate some backups. I need to make a little bit more room for, for late game plans. I'm going to spend two on Archer and see if I can pop Ovelia. Okay. Ovelia's uh, got uh, me. Causing me some concerns. I'll go to combat mm -hmm. and attack for 8,000. Okay, I will block on Dice Star. Sure thing. Uh, Dice Star breaks. I can choose an active and break Barbary Shop for 7,000. And I don't have a good way of building her down at instant speed. That's okay. I think I'm just going to go to second main. Mm -hmm. Spend two on Alhana Lemon all past there. Okay, I will do two. What we got? What we got? What we got? Nothing much, nothing much, nothing much. Let's see. Uh, let's bring back the boy in that case. The boy. Nice back. And then he's we'll... actually really quite good. Yeah. I really like him. He's probably one of the better ones that were added. Oh, to be fair, I love all the four ones that were added. We'll go to the attack phase and we'll swing with Belita. Here you go. I will pass. More Vata. Mm. One of these days I'll see Yuri again. Where could they be? I'll go to combat and attack for 8,000. Let's take that hit. Seconds. Reduce him by 3, please. He shrunk. Does nothing for me, but hey. I'll leave Aerith ominously open and spend 4 on life from today. And I'm going to pass there. Okay. I see some protection of planetary variety coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, I, I usually leave Aerith over to one side just so that it's less convenient for me to tap Aerith even by mistake or something. Just to. Uh, because people put undue faith in what might be happening. And it gets even better when I'm able to leave Moogle and the Aerith open, because then people have to wonder, do they have the Moogle or the Aerith in hand to then search up the Aerith? What does Zidane do? I haven't seen him in Zidane a while. cannot be chosen by abilities, so okay. even if Vata killed Dice Dark, you couldn't bolt Zidane. Okay. Also, when Zidane attacks, I have a look through your hand before blockers, and I can rip any forward out of it and force you to discard. Furthermore, whenever you discard a card to one of my effects, I can untap a wind character. Okay. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of things going on there. I believe he's what you call nuts. He, he is absolutely nuts, yeah. I, I think that he's safety play then. We'll sack two, tap one, and we'll stadio that data. I think the smart thing to do on the stack is tap down Aerith for Sylph and activate Vata. Okay, that makes sense. And for some completely unnecessary reason, Sylph also gives your whole field plus 1000. Why is it not just that target? Mm. It feels like one of these relics from the early days that's just... I shall... It gives your whole field plus one. Whole field plus one is well, separate. That's so I didn't remember that. I didn't remember no, it either, yeah. That's insane, actually. What's the wonders of FFT, right? I don't play one yeah. there wasn't enough. The real set was not enough back, uh, forwards in the FFT one. Sadly so. I built the reverse version of this, which is Fire, Ice and Wind, and it's great for the Argar stuff, but you don't have the energy or the synergy that's built in with the Knights. Yeah, yeah. Let's go three for Arc and give these an actual plus 1000. And I'll go to combat okay. and attack on Zidane for a look through your hand. It's a boy, yeah. It is not a forward. Okay, so he is simply an 8,000 attacking now. I will let the boy be blocked by Dice Star. Are you cool with this? I am cool with this. Uh, Dice Star will pop 
and I'll put Arp in 7. In response to Arp, the ability, I'll dull down 3 characters to make Vata unblockable by uh, cost 3 or more. Okay. Cool. And I think we might as well attack with Vata as well. Take it, my dragon. And now that I know what's in your hand... Uh, hmm, I'm, I'm just going to pass there. I, I was wondering if I should do something more explosive, but I think that... As a little bit of a fallback plan, what I have is marginally better. Let's tack one sack one and play the boy. The boy. So that is Ramza. Ramza is a plus one because there is another FFT character in field. Oh on. yeah, he, he just swells up for each of those. He does and for every FFT he gets plus one. And if I pay three, any FFT forward I control can gain first strike, haste, and plus one thousand until end. Which is going to be plus two thousand if you target Delita. Yep. Yeah. There's a lot of really sweet stuff going on there. Very enjoy it. I'm gonna pass so I'm feeling I'm scunnered at the moment. I haven't had enough in the early builds, but I think the d dulling and freezing yeah very early when you on. when you didn't ramp out backups perhaps as as fortunately as you might have done mm. you're kind of forced to playing a bunch of bodies early and then yuri just says yeah you know what you can get that in two turns time and you can get that in two turns time two turns time for everyone see the thing is this has stuff in it as well like fairy is an fft card that can be played there's a lot of really good stuff that you forget oh, about yeah, this, old, yeah. this one as well most of it came out in the first set i think it's one of those games that really brought a lot of people to final fantasy as a franchise oh yeah and it's so, one of those ones that you put, like i said i didn't realize it was final fantasy for such a long time but I was little, like when this came out, I was a tiny person. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, I think the first Final Fantasy I played from start to finish was actually Tactics Advance. And uh, to this day, it's still probably one of only three or four Final Fantasy yeah. franchise things that I've actually played to I, the finish. That game's dark. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so dark. I was trying to explain it to someone once recently and they didn't believe me and some of the stuff I'm saying. Like, oh yeah, Marsh tells his brother he's not allowed to walk anymore. Um, yeah, you know what, we're going to go back and put you in a wheelchair. Yeah, how does that, how does that no, sound? No, I don't it? want to go back. Marsh goes, yeah. Well, too bad, I'm going to beat you up and steal your materia. I oh, oh materia. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ritz gets bullied for having like, the wrong coloured hair. So in this real world... Your hair's not really red. Your mother cries because she has to dye it for you every night. Wow. So in this world, my hair is normal. I feel like, despite the fact I've played that game probably six or so times, you forget right through. I for yeah, is. it's like you, you don't look at it as being this really dark, creepy story. Uh, what I'm going to do is see if I can push this turn. I'm not sure. I'm going to go three for Chaos, walk through the wheel on Ramsa. Okay. What I want is either you to decide I'm going to pay right now and give Delita a first strike and so on and so forth, or you let Ramza just break so you can play whatever's in your hand. Either way, it gives me more information and gives me a little bit more to know what I'm doing here. It's one card in hand, so I'm going to have to go for the Ramza play, drop the Ovelia. And Delita. And so Delita's on plus 2000 and first strike. Okay. Then I think the smartest thing to do is... Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll dull three wind characters so that the Dane is unblockable. Arc can't be blocked by cost three or more. Okay. And then I'm going to go for Aid Minor Special character. to activate the field. Nice. Now, let's see. Hmm. I'll attack on Arc since he can't be blocked. Okay, that seems fair. Agras. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to have to pass there. I, I I can't play through the first strike this turn. That Ramza is really strong. Oh no, he's great. I love him. I, I didn't really rate it that highly at the time, other than the fact that it could be dropped by Al Said and in really long lightning games, if you've got tons of backups that you've been playing for Idea anyway, then it, it just happens to be a, a reasonably good CP sync. But I am very much lost on what I can do this game, so let's go with the Zalbag. Let's go with no the effect on Zal <laughs> Zalbag for no breaks. Zalbag is fun when people are playing tiny characters and you just drop I them. was playing Zalbag actually in the Turbo Ice meta, because being able to kill, in particular, Heroic Squall, but even things like Thaumaturge and stuff, Turbo Ice was as terrible a deck as it was and very boring to play against. It was a deck of pure maths, and if you threw off their maths by removing even just two small things, mm -hmm. they basically couldn't win. And that was just a really good way of curving out that trades with a Thaumaturge mm -hmm. and kills a Thaumaturge. So so, just felt pretty good. What do we have here now? Okay, I think the smart thing to do is say arc can't be blocked by three costs. Okay. And Vata can't be blocked by three costs. That would do it. <laughs> And then Planet Protector as well. 
I mean, I don't really think I need to give myself too much insurance I think that's a yeah, net. unless I can unless drop an Odin. Seven, seven cost Odin, yeah. I'll go to combat and swing on the VAT. That would be it. Oh, when I saw it, it was like a roughly, I, I Odin, saw roughly it. Odinish card. I saw a purple card and went, yeah, sure. Swang on the arc as and well. that would be the activator card. <laughs> if, I, if I'd needed a little bit more juice there, then I could have just kind of emptied my hand for Bart's to activate everything mm. and gives a Dane unblockable as well, but... Uh, I wasn't really sure I needed to at that point. Oh, strong. Let's see what was coming out at the end there. Top 5. Golem, Ramza, Mustadio, Delita, Betty. Stuff that would have been usable. I love Legend Delita actually. And Le I did have him from the start of the game, decided not to drop him instead. He's 10k, but I expected him to become a target quite quickly. Now and, I'm thinking and, and about in particular, it, had to take even things to like the, the new snow backup that people are talking about, the forecast that dulls oh, yeah, something true, any true. type of swing, Delita's very good insurance yeah. against that, because if they ever dull him, they lose the snow. I really like the idea of looking at actually of building a wind dice deck that is having no known snow, which is you get something, oh, they lose something, you get something, you yeah, lose something, yeah. and just continuously well, the, 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 the problem trading. with no was was it was an incredibly strong ability that usually pays for itself several times over over the course of a game but it just became tricky sometimes to attack with your smallest things and extort as much value as possible out of the card love to see it yeah love to see it thank you very much for the game thank Not you very much for watching everyone this was mono wind and i've got a deck tech talk on the site about it but if anyone really wants this deck list it's going to be in the description of the video thank you very much guys